So I heard you were looking for something else. different about something else is that they were so much more welcoming than any other group that I've ever been a part of like they they took me in for for who I was and 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 didn't care about anything else really and that's what I really appreciated about something else well mainly I was first attracted to something else because I was looking for something that would be a mixture between writing and comedy and it was the perfect combination recently uh, I haven't been able to go to something else and I kind of found that I was a little sad and then I realized that it's just going to the meetings and socializing with the people that they, all they want to do is laugh. And so when I go to something else, it just kind of brightens my day. When I was at uh, the Super Party earlier in the semester, um, I just saw the group and I asked, there was, you know, they said there was Sketch Comedy Group, and I was just like, oh, that's cool. Because I had previously been in a group that was supposed to be that, and nobody knew what the hell to do. This group seemed like it was really knew what it was supposed to be doing, so I decided why don't I give them a shot and they were having a meeting that night, so I came back at 10 and uh, felt like it was a really good and, you know, very high energy group that I could certainly get behind. The club is kind of like a community in which even the new people put in their input about what they want out of the whole club experience, like what they want to learn with the equipment, what they want to learn about writing, and as well as how to do sketch comedy in general. Well, I think we have redefined comedy because we have a lot of fun and we can do stuff like this. What first attracted me to the sketch comedy group Something Else was the companionship of peers I found. I formed many close friendships and bonds. At Something Else, we're not afraid to tackle the big issues. The issues that a lot of comedy groups are too scared to touch, like uh, farts, you know, penises. We're not afraid to go there. We push the envelope in that respect. Well, I've had the head writer's job, which uh, will be helpful in getting a creative writing position um, and an internship, uh, or maybe a low-level job. Um, and then I've had the radio producer slot for this year, uh, and I've been on the radio cast before as well. Um, and then in producing um, and learning how to work, like the soundboard and everything, um, does help or would help get a DJ job at a radio station or something like that. And that's, you know, we have a, and like something else, that's like a very limited thing, like part of what something else can do, because we have like um, production jobs and producing jobs, and, and which is all part of the group, which is all experience. Um, and a lot of the people that are in something else, the fields they're going into, um, experience is everything. Um, it's a lot more important sometimes than uh, what's on the transcript. There have been many, many positive experiences with something else. Mainly, the ladies, they love the accent. It is very nice. Something else is redefined comedy because sometimes it is all about dick jokes. You can be yourself, you can be vulgar, and you can be funny. And all the while, you're actually learning. Something else is teaching you. Something else is teaching you to do lighting, equipment, everything you could want to do. My word to anyone who's looking for a group, join something else. Drop it. You gotta be black.
And two, you gotta be on top of it. You wanna be a superstar kid? I will tell you how to be a superstar. You gotta start right here, right now. You gotta think, do, see. You gotta do whatever.